Origin Green recognises uh, that the planet is using up resources at one and a half times the rate that the planet can sustain. That Ireland has a unique positioning in terms of its natural sustainability credentials. That we are a major food producer with a huge export orientation. The world needs to produce 70% more food over the next four decades than in, in order to meet its uh, growing population. And yet it must reduce greenhouse gas emissions at the very same time. And it is this dilemma that the world now needs to solve in the period ahead. Ireland can make its contribution to Origin Green. Origin Green does represent the ambition of an industry that seeks to be a world leader in sustainably produced food and drink. Ireland has always been strong in terms of its sustainability credentials. European Commission research shows, for example, that our dairy industry has the lowest carbon footprint in the whole of Europe. Our beef industry, similarly, uh, enjoys one of the lowest carbon footprints in Europe's uh, 27 member states. Uh, a water stress index, for example, uh, is just uh, harbouring on uh, the horizontal index uh, by comparison with other countries around the, the world, uh, in a world that is running short of water. It is as if the concept of sustainability were created for us. And while it is our management of the resources on which we have been, after all, freely and naturally bestowed, on which the true greenness of our credentials will ultimately be judged, we are at an enviable starting point in the road to sustainability. We believe we can be a world leader in sustainability. It is what we can and should be famous for. But to be a world leader in sustainability means that certain conditions must be met and we have set four conditions. First, that every farm and food manufacturing business in the country signs up to the sustainability agenda. We have set ourselves the goal that by 2014, 75% of all of our food and drink exports should be sourced from farms and food businesses that have embarked on a journey to sustainability, and that by 2016, all should have. The second condition is that we measure what matters and recognising that what matters most to some may be different from what matters most to others. But thirdly, that no matter what we measure, that we do so in a way that is international recognition and acceptance. And that is born through achieving international accreditation and independent verification to ensure it has that acceptance. And the final condition is recognising that this is a journey of continuous improvement that we have access to and application of leading edge science and innovation to ensure that best practice is brought to bear on everything we do in regard to improving our sustainability score over time. What is the most encouraging and perhaps compelling part of this story is the buy-in and the participation in the Origin Green journey. This is, after all, a voluntary program. Yes, we have virtually 100% acceptance and support of the journey on which we have embarked. At farm level, for example, uh, by the end of this year we will have carbon footprinted virtually all of the 30,000 farms within our quality programmes. And that, we expect, will be replicated right across the farming sector. Already just weeks after uh, launching the programme, uh, half of our food and drink exports are being sourced from companies who have registered their interest to start out on that journey uh, to signing up for the Sustainability Charter. And it is this level of support and uh, participation, I think, that uh, encourages us to believe that, yes, this is a movement that has huge momentum and will continue and build an international reputation for an industry and a nation like no one else.